Welcome back guys, can you believe that there is not a single video that is only focusing on ability points? So I thought I will fill that gap and give you a video that is solely focusing on how you get more ability points and spend them in the most efficient way. Many of you have already hundreds of ability points and can easily make all the builds I post regularly here on the channel, but if you are new to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you might actually struggle to get enough points to make even the basic variants. If you are one of these and if you are nowhere near to make the level 99 build, then I strongly recommend you to check out the level 55 Hyper Warrior build and the level 55 Hyper Assassin build as well. The basic variants of the normal builds, however, require somewhere between 160 and 200 ability points in the basic variant and that has a good reason because when you play Assassin's Creed Odyssey for the first time you make your first playthrough of course you will get one ability point every time you level up. So depending on how many locations you actually solve and how much you clean the map you will end up between level 70 and level 99 at the end of your first playthrough. And then of course we have the 22 tombs that give you one ability point just for clearing the location and also the Atlantis DLC will give you 54 new ability points when you complete the whole DLC and all locations in it. So that's a total of 175 potential ability points you can get just from completing the main game and the Atlantis DLC for the first time. That's the reason why I place my basic build variants in that region between 160 and 200 points so that you can easily make them with just a single playthrough. The players who got the game early in 2018 also got 6 additional ability points for reaching the level 50 cap before it was raised and also an additional 30 ability points for reaching the level 70 cap before it was raised. But that's just a side note for you in 2021 of course you can't get these additional 36 points anymore. But before I show you the best way to get more ability points, I will show you that you actually don't really need more ability points. In fact, if you have 200 ability points, you will almost get the same damage as a 400 ability points build, a 600 build or even a build that has all the 1700 points. There's only these 1 or 2% left for every ability that really don't matter much. With 300 ability points, you will have maxed out all the useful damage perks in your mastery section already. And when you even have 400 points, then you will even have maxed out all the other useful perks like adrenaline or other stuff as well. So from that point on there is no need to get more ability points because you won't get the stronger build anyway from it. So all these players who have 1700 cheated points don't have a stronger build. In reality the mastery points only account for up to 10% of your damage at all. So 1000 ability points is only accounting for 10% of your damage while the other 90% of your damage is solely coming from your gear and the engravings you use. So you have to focus on your gear to get more damage and get the coked engravings on your gear instead of getting more ability points. That is one core principle here for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So you should first focus on your gear, get all the right items with all the correct engravings that has a much greater effect than getting the last 10% with your ability points. A good build will always outperform ability points no matter how much you have. You can't make up the gap with ability points. You have to use the better gear. Another common mistake many players make when they spend their ability points even if they have only 100 or 150 points, they tend to spend every single point on just one ability, max them out to get 20 points on that ability. And that is not the best way to do it. Because the first 10 points give you the overwhelming majority of the perk bonus. So when you only spend 10 points you get already 80% of the bonus compared to when you spend the other 10 points you will get only the last 20% out of it. So it's much better to spread your points, only invest like 8, 12 or 15 points on every ability than rather focusing on just a single one. So in order to get more ability points you have to know that you can level up beyond level 99. So when you fill up your XP bar every time beyond level 99 you will also get one more ability point. And that is quite common and many players tend to get just more XP and level up and get more ability points. They are grinding the arena forever or stacking contracts forever just to get more ability points. But that's actually slow and not the fastest way to do it. While XP farming and XP gaining methods are good for reaching level 99, beyond that they become very useless. So I definitely not recommend you to do any more XP farming once you reach level 99. There's a much better way to get more ability points. 
Instead, you should just start a new game plus, because you will keep everything you actually have. You will keep your current level, you will keep all your mastery points, your ability points, you will keep all your gear, you will keep all your progress. The only thing that is actually reset is the map and all the lieutenants and the quests on it. So you can not only complete all the simple quests with your powerful character now again, you can also collect all the 22 ability points from the tombs again and also the 54 ability points from the Atlantis DLC again. That's a total of 76 free ability points which you can collect from doing locations alone, not including the level up which will also certainly take place between 5 or 10 times for every new game plus. So we can safely assume you will get around 85 or even 90 ability points every time you do a new game plus. The fastest way to collect all these points is actually when you only focus on the main storyline, the family storyline. You have to play that storyline until chapter 6, until you met your mother and then go and met your real father, beat up all the musical creatures, complete the Hair of Memory quest, then open Atlantis, go into Elysium, collect all the Marble Maiden, complete Elysium, then go into the Underworld, complete all the Rifts, then go into the Atlantis city and then complete all the Izu catches. Normally that whole process will take you around 10 hours for the main storyline if you just go on cruise mode and then 4 hours for every single Atlantis DLC episode. That's around 22 hours and for that you don't even have to hurry up. When we divide that by 85 or 90 points you will get a single ability points every 15 minutes. And that's a lot faster than grinding for XP in the arena alone. Because in the arena, even if you do the arena in 1 minute 20 seconds, which is around the fastest possible you can do it, then you will still take 20 minutes to level up in the arena and get one ability point. And that's a hell of a grind fest and you won't be able to do that for more than 1 or 2 hours. But doing a new game plus with your high level character on the other hand will be very enjoyable. So that's a really great way to not only do the story again, explore different paths, you will also get a ton of ability points and it is actually mathematically proven that it is the fastest possible way to get more ability points. Of course at the beginning when you start your new game plus you won't get any ability points at all until you reach a point where you can now explore the tombs, then you collect all the points from the tombs, then you switch to the Atlantis DLC and from that point on it is just a point collection quest because you will get so many in such a short amount of time. But you have to invest quite a couple of hours just to get there. And of course you can start an infinite amount of new game plus. Everything you have to do complete the whole family storyline in the main game until dinner in Sparta then go to the menu and just start another new game plus. You will also carry over all your progress from that new game plus with all the additional gear. So there is a lot of additional benefits, you can just get all the gear you missed, the haters harper, the spartan javelin, the minotaur mace or even get two spartan javelins or two minotaur maces for one of these totally crazy builds. And that's the way how people have like 400 or even 500 ability points. We have played these games for hundreds of hours and just one new new game plus takes us only a fraction of time to get 100 new ability points. So that's even another reason to get the Atlantis DLC not only for the crazy weapons and engravings but of course also for the crazy amount of ability points. The Atlantis DLC is basically an ability points throwing machine. They throw these points after you. So I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.